This is the game I've come up with. It's called Waking Dead. And this game is designed to put whoever plays it into a, into a catatonic trance. Basically means their sort of brain goes unraveled, they go into a vegetable-like state when they play the game. Right? Now, it doesn't work on everybody. It'll work on about a third of the people that will play it. And it will only last a few minutes, but that'll be long enough for me to do what I want to do. Another flash. Oh, he's going. One more. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in. What's his name? David. David. That's fine. Just do exactly what I ask you to do. No, come with me. Come with me. Right back. Right back. No, just have to go. Silence, please, while I sound the horn. Hello? I shall exploit my anonymity and try some daylight robbery in the financial capital of the world with a wallet full of blank paper. This is a little cheeky. <laughs> Hello, very good. I'm kind of interested in maybe uh, one of these bands down here. These are platinum, are they? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's very nice. So, can you tell me about it? So it's. This is a platinum uh, ring with a crown on it. Mm hmm. 4,500. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Mm hmm. Okay, fantastic. Well, I will take that as it is. I'll give you cash for that okay. if that's okay. Sure. Thank you. All right. Great, lovely. I'll let you box that up. Thank you very much. It's the nearest subway here. Just on the corner down there. So is that north or south that way? Oh, no, neither. West. That's west that it's way. West. Okay, so that's right, north up there. I've been thinking the wrong way. Thank you very much indeed. So straight down there on the corner. Uh -huh. Fantastic. And uh, yeah, I was a bit intimidated about using the uh, subways here, but my friend just said, take it, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I was a bit intimidated about that, but that's great. So straight down there, that way down on this corner? Uh, yep. That way on that, straight down there. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, goodbye. Number six has not won. No, it hasn't won. So you shouldn't get anything on this at all. No, it's worthless. This is worthless. Absolutely worthless. All right, one minute. I'll be straight back. Now, why are you looking at him? Where's he going? Surely he can't draw money. Don't believe it.
I don't. How come? Uh, I don't believe it. Right. As much know, as that. Do you want to know how it's done? Yeah, tell me. That's just the start. That's only two quid. That's just the start. I'll show you how it works. Just follow me. Just follow me, okay. all right? Put your hand on your head. Put your hand on your chest. Uh, put your hand on your wrist. Excellent. Now that's your elbow, not your wrist, all right? <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, you follow what I say, you take my lead, all right? Okay. It's, a, it's just a control game, all okay. right? That's yeah. all I'm doing here, just at a much more advanced level, all right? Yeah. Now here's what I want you to do. We'll do a couple more races. Yeah. Each time, you bet on the dog you're sure is going to lose. Okay, no problem. Right? Love. Right, let's go and collect our losings. You look her right in the eye. Yes. You've just got to trust me and don't be nervous about it. This will work. It will work because you'll believe that it will work. Okay. You look her right in the eye. Yeah. You hand her the ticket and you say, this is the winning ticket. And you just believe that from the bottom of your soul. This is the winning ticket. Not winner? This is the dog you're looking for. Try again, you may have misread it. Oh yeah, sorry, you have one, sorry. Fantastic. Good grief. Yeah. Can you come? Can you come for the next sorry, meeting? Yeah. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 90. Thank you, Ramon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is it legal? <laughs> no, no, I think. You sleep. Sleep. Just stand and sleep quite comfortably. That's good. And again, you see, it's not just about your hands and forearms. This is your entire body. The brain controls the entire body. With the water temperature plunging further, I'm going to test Chris's hypnotic responses in a way that has never been done before. I'm going to get him to immerse his whole body in the ice bath. After only 15 minutes in water this cold, Chris's vital organs will start to shut down. After 30 minutes, he could die. But if through hypnosis, Chris is able to create the false reality that the water feels warm, he won't feel the pain and will be able to stay immersed in the ice cold water. After one minute in the water, Chris's heart rate has dropped from 136 beats per minute to 107. At 50 BPM, the paramedics will be forced to step in. OK, we're going to bring you out, but before we do, what's that like at the moment? Awkward, like Awkward like position, but... <laughs> but, uh, but apart from that? Yeah, it's fine. Absolutely fine. The water is now 1.4 degrees away from turning into a solid block of ice, and his heart rate has dropped to 85 BPM. He's clearly very capable of dissociating himself from the freezing temperature. The test is a success. When I grab the side of the bath, the suggestion will clear at the moment, it's completely comfortable. And watch what happens when I touch the side of the bath. OK, I would step out. We're going to wrap you up and get you into a special thermal tank that will just bring you back to a normal temperature. That's good. Now, this slack state that you see here would continue for some time in the seance until the spirits arrived. And when the spirits arrived, the medium would change. He or she would transform from the slack state to one of absolute physical rigidity. They'd become solid and rigid and tense. And if you tried to move an arm or a leg, you couldn't. They were locked into place. And the mediums would use this bizarre transformation as proof of their spirit possession. There's an image here of a medium from the 19th century demonstrating a clearly impossible physical feat as proof of her possession. Now, I'm going to remove your blindfold. You can keep your eyes closed for the moment. That's lovely. I'm going to show you this here. You're going to look here and you're going to see a plank of wood suspended across two chairs. I want you to look there and see this. A plank of wood. And as you look at that, I want your mind and your body to absorb this and realize, learn what it would be like to be this rigid, solid plank. And back down into that sleep. That's lovely. Good. Now, watch what happens when I... Tell him that the spirits arrive. You will see him change, transform from the slack state that you see here to one of absolute physical rigidity. His body will become rigid and solid and tense. The spirits arrive now. That's good. Locking into place tighter. Arms locking into place tighter. There they go. Locking tighter and tighter. The arms locked to the side of the body. 
That's good. You see, when we tip him back, he's rigid, solid, and upright. He doesn't bend in the middle. He just goes back like a statue. So we've got you tipping your right back one. That's good. And he can hold himself here quite comfortably. Locks into place. Tighter. That's good. An impossible physical state. It's impossible. Now you'll see the mediums would remain like this for days. Uh, for now, we'll remove our friend. But you see, as we remove him, he remains absolutely rigid. The whole body solid, even as we lever him to an upright position. The legs remain locked in place as he comes up. And he only goes back to his previous state when I tell him that the spirits are now leaving. That's good. That's good. Excellent. Let's bring you around to face the front. And remove your blindfold. You can keep your eyes closed for the moment. Your eyes do not need to open until you are fully wide awake and relaxed. Take a moment.